the race is led by Dinanga. I'm sure he'd want to do well today. Oh, really poor header from Job, and it drops handily at Newby's foot. Can he profit from this? Switches play, gets the shot in, scores the goal. Ottingham lead here. And he switched it from right foot to left foot, confused the opposition defence. And Alex Newby has the game's first goal. It's Altigan 1, Gateshead 0. And that's the side of a top player in a top side, making the most of them a uh, slight unorthodox fashions in play. It's a long ball up from Ethan Ross to begin with a long goal kick. And Mamadou Job has headed it on. And um, it didn't even seem that windy at this point in time, but it's gone off the wrong part of his head and flicked all the way over to Alex Newby. He's able to cut in onto that right foot, back onto the left, and he's just able to slot it in to the bottom right corner. Absolute perfection from him, drilled low. Nathan Harness, powerless to stop the shot. We have an opening goal at the Jay Davidson Stadium, 1-0. They do have another goalkeeper on the books as well, Eddie Beach, but he's away playing for the Wales under-23 team as this one is headed away safely. Don't think they've had a shot as yet, Gateshead. Well, well, the chance is there. Once again, Brown was involved. Now they do get a shot through. And this time it was from Evans, deflected out for the corner kick. About 15 yards from goal. And it'll be aiming towards him. Could have gone anywhere and do a save by Ross. Yeah, it's Difficult to see who got, got the fine leopard in there, but anyway, a sprawling goalkeeper dived on it. I think it was Mamadou Job, the centre-back in the end, who gets the final shot low with the right foot. Brown loses out. It's just a, it's on a youth loan. Cosilo, enterprising, very spirited. And the corner won by Con Clark. But they do look like getting another goal. Goalkeeper Harness just a little closer to his near post than his back, which is a flat one. Not quite sure what that was going to be, actually. It was intended for Cooper, I fancy, at the near post. Still got a chance here. And it's, oh, it's, it should have gone in. The save is made. It was a big chance for Justin Donoway which he couldn't take. He actually didn't look to have the self-belief there when he hit the ball. No, I'm not too sure if he was fully aware it was coming. He was in a good position, though, because Amaluzo's let the ball run through his leg. It's a fantastic dummy, which I was questioning at first from the commentary position, but Donna were through, and he's unable to get the shot at him. He's straight at Harness in the end, but it's a good save. Yeah, as you say, they, they do deserve a second goal, in my opinion. And Gateshead, with their goal-scoring ability, will make the most of one of these chances. You can fancy that this game. Luke Hannett had to have all his awareness and his experience there to shrug off the attentions of two players. He's instigated a move. Well, that sums it up, really. Again, the ball is ballooned by Evans. Uh, and that's the only word I can think of, is ballooned there. Not quite got going in the second half as yet, but the goal scorer Newb is involved here now. But again, it's played into no man's land, not to the foot of anybody in the red and white. That headband from Ed Francis looks like he's about to blind him. It's yes, right over his know, eyes. That's what, I, that's what staggered him in the first half. And, oh, big, big chance here. Must be an equaliser. Oh, he's kept out on the line, but put into the net now by Denanga. The first effort was from Evans, who looked a certain scorer. Altingham all over the place defensively and from the rebound the man who nearly always scores against Altingham and he scored a four ulti against Gates and Dinanga is on the mark. Well we spoke about how important it was for Altingham to double their lead in the first half because Gateshead would come back stronger and uh, Ed Francis there with a sublime pass over to the right hand side and it's a shot taken in the end it's straight at Jake Cooper but it's deflected back out for Gateshead and Callum Whelan who I said had a very sprightly first half notches the ball into the back of the net we're level here at the Jay Davison Stadium that goal probably couldn't have come at a better time for Gateshead. That was sloppy, mind you. And uh, Newby's on his way. Hasn't got any support, though, and will lose out. Yes. Now Mooney. Bit of ground for him to work with as well. Two defenders to take on. Mooney, fleet of foot. Cuts inside. Shoot! What a corker! What a cracker! Mooney for Altingham. Well, Gayson had just got themselves back into this contest. You will not see a better goal than that today anywhere in the country. 
Well, the fan favourite's back and he's quite possibly got one of the goals of the season. It's brilliant from Dan Mooney. Got an assist against York City in midweek. He's back with a bang today. He had two men being marking right onto him. Hadn't struck from deep as well. He's able to cut in onto that left foot. Iron Robin Esk, we've seen it so, so many times from Dan Mooney. This is the first time in his second spell. Curves right into the top left corner. Perfection. The message from Mooney is, I'm back with a bang. And Gateshead look absolutely stunned by that. Uh, we're in a great position, aren't we? A vantage position here to see that one swirling away from the goalkeeper into the back of the net. And that was, uh, well, I think I used the word a cracker and it certainly was that. I think that's the right decision. One or two people howling down beneath, but the referee was well in his rights not to give anything there now it's Cosilo three ulti players forward up here if they can get the next goal they might be home and dry oh well it's been an extraordinary uh, past, uh, period of five minutes and that confidence has stepped right back into Altrincham's shoes hasn't it it's brilliant play to find Cosilo free and in the end it's what two goal line clearances off the line and taken by the huge figure of Richardson he is a formidable figure isn't he but he plays it down left chance of a cross here it's a good one it's 2-2 and this time he does take the opportunity Kieran Evans who's had two or three chances today finally pops one into the Altingham net which way is this game going to go it's just an astonishing in the balance match 2-2 well, it's two sides that know how to score, isn't it? And Kieran Evans really demonstrating that well. He's able to chest the ball down and he's lashed it with his right foot right into the near post. I don't think you can blame Ethan Ross too much for it with the sheer power it had. It's his second of the season for Gateshead and we're level once again at 2-2. And what a fantastic game of football this has turned out to be. But an another blow for Altrincham. Yeah, the boy who's on loan from Cardiff scored his uh, first goal for the club at Wealdston in February. And of course players these days can come off on the opposite side of the pitch to what they used to do I think Gateshead are going to make a switch as well tit for tat it's like anything you can do I can do better isn't it both yeah. sides really trying to get the tactical nick on each other and we should be set for a spicy last 15-20 minutes of this game or so not Adam as most people would probably thought it's Adam it's quite an interesting winger isn't he because he's got a bit of height to him as well a bit like Amaluz or he's six foot two he can really use his physicality well and will try and probably win a few headers from these long throw-ins which we're about to see now yeah he scored 15 goals for Ooh, last season well what about that for the first time today Gateshead have hit the front he's been on the field 10 seconds maybe I honestly think that might be a record we're talking about him getting the knockdowns and winning the headers he's just had the knockdown there it's a brilliant cushion header over to him and it's very similar to Evans's goal on the right foot he smashed it into the near post top left corner Ethan Ross powerless and the game swung all of a sudden and Ultron will have a bit of work to do here in the remaining minutes of this game 3-2 Kane Adam is the name he got 15 goals last season for Hanwell at a very much lower level and here he is making a name for himself in the colours of Gateshead and I reckon the manager's made a name for himself there you're suggesting that it might be a record I'm not sure but he certainly had been on the field not much more than 10 or 15 seconds Mooney's drifted in field that's a good ball he's played there lovely ball for Donawa Donawa's into the 18 yard edge oh and there's the head of wide con Clark well, you don't associate Chris Con Clark with headers, do you? Maybe that cross came with just a little bit too much power. So, but it's a brilliant ball wide to Donawa. Regan Linney does well as well. Just have the understanding to cut into the centre and add that extra body into the box. In the end, Donawa's was taking the cross quick and directly in line with the edge of the area. Played it across to Con Clark, who just can't quite get the connection on the header that he would have wanted. The referee not yet looking at his watch. Brown climbing into a header has his booty oh it's broken handily here shoot didn't miss by much did he Evans on for a double 
any late drama to be had today in the Davison Stadium. No, not at that end of the pitch anyway. It's going to be the opportunity for Brown to run the clock down and for Gateshead to take away what will be seen as a notable victory for them if they do achieve it. Off to the corner, I would imagine here. No, still going. No penalty to be awarded. Free kick indeed for Altrincham. Well, surely we've gone through the five minutes now. The journey home's going to be savoured by those Gateshead supporters. They've won the day. They've won by three goals to two. A very quick summary for you in that uh, it was Altingham who took the lead in the first half through Alex Newby. An equaliser from former Altingham man Marcus Denanga. Then the goal of the game from Dan Mooney on as a substitute. Yet again, uh, Gateshead came back with a Kieran Evans leveller. And then the winning goal, amazingly, from the uh, substitutes. Kane Adam 